Welcome to Top of the Morning at Top of the World Trade Center. My name is Betty Montgomery Williams. And I'm Obi Linson. And we have a special guest for you today. You, sure you, it's exciting. Don't touch the dial because actor, extraordinaire, entrepreneur, and all actors and actresses and crew people, film, media people need to know about this man. Yes. His name is Brian Dragona, and he is just a lifesaver to a lot of us. So stay tuned, and we're going to talk to uh, Brian, right? We're right, going to have a good a show. Right. We're going to see a lot of clips of him. We're going to talk <laughs> yep. a lot more about uh, his experiences in the acting industry in this area. Uh, you're going to talk. And you're Go doing up. well. By the way, uh, he's hosting with me for the first time, and he's doing a great job. Great I'm job. Doing it for a long time. Oh, he's been <laughs> doing it for a long time. Top of the morning. Our guest today is Brian Dragunov, actor, entrepreneur, extraordinaire. This man, everyone loves him. All the actors in Maryland, D.C., Virginia, Pennsylvania, welcome to Top of the Morning. Thank you. Yeah, give me a handshake here. All right. <laughs> and my co-host is O.B. Linton. Welcome. Cool. Brian, uh, I've always wanted to ask you this. Why did you start the audition newsletter? What, what made you do this to help all these actors? The first project that I was on was called The Replacements. It was a uh, Gene Hackman, Keanu Reeves movie that, that filmed here in uh, late 99. Mm -hmm. um, I had not given acting a, a thought as a career. It was a whim. Um, they uh, hired me to be an extra for a hundred bucks a day, you know, sitting in the stands and waving and cheering. and. I actually stayed three months. I liked it. Wow. I stayed the uh, entire run of the movie. But when we were in holding and there was like uh, three to five hundred people a day um, that were in the stands cheering or down on the field playing photographers, etc. Mm -hmm. um, people would tell you about the jobs that they had done in the past, commercials that they've shot or whatever, right. but they wouldn't give you any uh, useful information for you to get yourself oh, started. Okay. Um, so I started getting bits and pieces of, of who the reputable casting directors were, who the reputable agents were, um, uh, projects coming up like Cecil B. Demented uh, mm -hmm. with uh, John Waters John was Waters. coming to town. Um, towards the uh, uh, end of um, our filming for the replacements. Um, and I started trading bits and pieces of information with people and, and as I was giving out information there were some that were willing to give me information back. And um, Networking. I, yep, like absolutely mm -hmm. networking and by the end of the movie I had a list of a about 200 people that wow. that were good friends over the shoot mm -hmm. uh, that had contributed back and um, I started out uh, every six months hosting a dinner at a restaurant you know oh. uh, I found a restaurant with a large enough room um, that everybody paid for their own stuff but it was a, a networking luncheon and from that um, I developed uh, the uh, email system that I'm using today and just started emailing out everything that I could because you know there was no way of contacting 200 people by phone because I heard that you know right. this commercial was going to shoot, shoot or, right, right. or uh, something like that so that was the start of it um, I, I wanted to make sure that anybody coming up behind mm -hmm. me didn't have as much trouble finding the information right. um, out about getting established and, and doing it, whether you wanted to do it just as, as a hobby or whether you were seriously interested in developing an acting career, mm -hmm. uh, wanting to make sure there was a steady flow of accurate information out there so that uh, um, everybody could, could apply and, and that's the basis of the thing. I send everything I hear 
you, you sort of have to look through it and find what you want and then apply for it. Um, so. I don't know an actor in this area that has not benefited from your audition newsletter. Seriously. Well, thank I've you. benefited and I want to thank you. Seriously, I have received, gotten jobs. But do you have, the, does the casting agents or directors contact you now since you're so popular? Because I, I, I'm in Philadelphia, New York. Everybody's heard of your um, newsletter. Um, yeah, um, there's certain people that supported me from the very beginning. Um, uh, uh, agents, casting directors that, that started sending me stuff directly mm -hmm. um, right in the beginning. Um, right now, um, I think that there's nine of the major casting directors, uh, and I do specifically Philadelphia, Baltimore, Washington to See. Richmond, uh -huh. that area. I, I do a little bit of uh, North Carolina and a little bit oh, of you New do York. North Carolina, and New York. Um, but okay. just if it's a major thing coming in and they're mm -hmm. looking for specific people, uh, I send it out. Um, for working with uh, the Black Rebel Wars and with uh, Black TV Online, uh, I've, I've come across a number of different actors and actresses uh, who have used your, your email list and have benefited from some of the listings that you produce. Yeah. Thank um, you. It's, it's nice to know that, that uh, it is out there and appreciated. Um, and that's exactly what I'm trying to do. I want to make sure that, that all of the information is out there and they can choose not to, you know, look at an opportunity. Um, but if they don't know about it, they don't have a choice. Right. So that's why I'm trying to get uh, as much information to everyone as I can. Is there anything new that you plan on doing with your news list? Uh, you were mentioning earlier um, how you, I guess the setup. Well, um, I, I would like to get away from Yahoo groups. Uh, but yeah, they're free and, and yeah. I'm not uh, charging anybody anything for this. I'm, I'm doing it totally free. Um, so I don't have a lot of money to invest in uh, developing a website the way that I want and, and to be able to extend services. So I, I've talked with a couple of companies about uh, partnering and mm -hmm. um, uh, creating a better site, but I, I um, don't have anything that I'm comfortable is, is going to um, happen uh, soon uh, in, in that end. But there's certain features. Uh, for a while I had an uh, asking the uh, casting directors feature where people would write in to me mm -hmm. uh, different questions. I would send it out to all of the casting directors um, and they would reply. Um, I had a, a SAG-AFTRA uh, Q&A um, mm -hmm. with the Bethesda office that uh, did the same thing. The people, union and non-union, uh, would uh, email me different questions and uh, uh, I sent uh, the answers out uh, on them. I am working on something right now on um, agent. Uh, actor, I'm sorry, on actor professionalism. Um, there's um, some quality issues out there that I think that making the actors aware of is going to um, bring that um, out and, and help the actors become more professional in their auditioning and in Hold that uh, their sight stuff. Moment. We're going to go to a break, okay, okay. and we'll be right back. top of the World Trade Center here in Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, we're still here with our guest today, 
Brian Dragunov. Brian Dragunov. Um, Brian, one of the things you were just talking about a few moments ago was how you've begun to branch out from just the email Yahoo group. You're now starting to, to offer commentary and questions and, and uh, professional advice mm -hmm. uh, to some of the actors and actresses, and you're doing all of this for free. Yes. What, what's driving you to continue doing this? Um, basically, uh, I think that this is a really good industry. Um, real happy with changing careers and getting into it. I, I did it late in life. Um, and my drive really is the more professional um, the, uh, gr the industry is at large, the more bigger, uh, higher paying uh, productions come here and hire more local people. And it's, it's cast and crew. I have a, a newsletter that, that does some things for the freelance crew and production companies as well. Um, so it's just um, uh, trying to get the uh, industry at large acting more professional and um, growing in the right direction is uh, what I'm trying to accomplish and uh, leveling the playing field so that, uh, like I say, everybody uh, knows about every job, every opportunity. Uh, I send out networking events. Uh, I send out uh, training sessions that uh, local colleges and universities do, as well as there's um, some actors that uh, have taken courses and learned how to teach, that teach really good courses. Uh, we're starting to get people, instructors from LA and from New York to come here and do uh, mostly weekend seminars and, and go back, but it's a, a um, higher level of uh, uh, true acting instruction for our industry. It's your passion. I know this because you're an actor, right? Right. Actor first, everything else second. That's right. So I think, well, to me, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, but being that it is your passion and what you just mentioned to Obi, this is also an opportunity for you as an actor, you making things better for this area. And, and it has become better since I've been doing it anyway. But I mean, you right in the middle, you see both sides, you know? Yeah, and, and I do a little bit of, of both sides. Uh, and I, that was my next question. Okay. You've been uh, <laughs> casting also, I see. Yeah, I've been doing a little, little bit of casting. Um, most recently, uh, I do a little bit of production work um, because I can't always earn a living doing right. just the acting. That's so right. uh, I need some other skills in there so that if I'm not hired to be in front of the camera, well, then I can uh, do some casting or do something behind the scenes or um, work with, with people. And the more I know about the industry, uh, I think that's the more that. I can tailor my newsletters to helping the individuals on those different uh, uh, newsletters and, and uh, again keep the industry growing in the right direction and, and there's there's a lot of people out there that are that are spending a lot of their time and effort you know doing the same thing right. um, but I've got the numbers I, I actually um, through not only my newsletters, but through some agreements that I have with a couple of agents and, mm -hmm. and other people that I have posting privileges on their sites. Um, I actually reach 15,000 local actors I was going to ask you, what is something. your, what is your um, count? Your, your yeah, on, on my um, film and video uh, newsletter, okay. uh, I've only got about uh, 4,500 people, Hi. but through the other um, newsletters and, and websites, I actually hit 15,000 people over Great. So um, anything that you, that you need, union or non-union, uh, any kind of uh, race, production. gender, right. um, uh, language, uh, religion, anything that you need, um, I have a wide enough base that yes, you you'll be able to, to find it. Uh, the same with the production personnel. Um, that list is about 2,500 people mm -hmm. strong. 
for the area. Um, but those are just the ones that are on their direct email has this life of its own. Um, you know, people get the email, so they send it to ten friends, and somebody there yeah. sends it to another three, and somebody yeah. else sends it to another five. So, um, you know, I, I don't know what the the total count of the people seeing, and then uh, who's telling someone else? Right. right. Well, we would also like to thank you from top of the morning. We've had a number of hosts over the last four years, uh, about forty of them, mm -hmm. and many of them have come to this show through your newsletter. Well, so uh, that's been a, a great plus. He makes a big influence us. on this community, uh, on this area, period. Absolutely. Um, well, go what, ahead. What type of, uh, we've heard about our feedback. We know what people have told us about your newsletter. But what have people told you? Oh, I get uh, both sides. Uh, I get uh, hate mail from people because <laughs> I'm too union. I get hate mail from people because <laughs> oh I'm God. too non-union. Um, you know, but... And Those you probably get the hate mail from the when you uh, discover a scam. I notice you will, you will let people know when there's a scam. When out there's there. a scam out there, so yeah. um, it, it's funny because there's a, a, a Hollywood website that actually had "Do you know of Brian Dragonhook and do you like or hate him?" contest really? going really? a few years ago. <laughs> And it was like 75% oh of the goodness. people liked me and 25% ah. didn't like me. There was about 3,000 people that had uh, entered the thing, but um, I was surprised that, that um, while it, it is a national site, I looked at some of the, the demographics that they had, mm -hmm. and there were a lot of people in L.A. that, that knew of my newsletters as oh, well. Oh, yeah, they probably got so, out to L.A. through your newsletter, so, yeah. you know? Um, we, um, uh, I, I, I really am, am, am uh, uh, proud of what I've accomplished, and you I know that probably 95% or better of the people uh, appreciate it and I do get thank yous as well but it's not um, it's not all that cut and dry I, I get um, some really nasty emails wow. from people that no you know idea think that, that you got nasty email. oh yeah oh yeah um, I, oh, I just had nice. I just had one the other day I sent out a piece um, a friend of mine did a voiceover, and it happened to be for um, a uh, website that was uh, pro-war, and mm -hmm. that set off a rash of people oh, who are anti-war about, you know, why am I pushing pro-war stuff on the site? I said I didn't. I sent out stuff clearly that this actor did this. Right. Take a look at it. I'm right, congratulating right, right. an actor just like I do for for everything for every, else, mm -hmm. and um, you know, and uh, I had the same thing back um, in the last presidential election, uh, where you know they were looking for actors or extras to do a commercial or something like that, and mm -hmm. I sent it out. It's a job. Yeah, well, that's right. what I am—a jobs newsletter. So right. then I got people from the other side, you know, emailing me that oh, I'm playing goodness. favorites and that I, I'm uh, on this side or that side. And I said, no, oh, they goodness. sent me something looking for actors. This is a jobs website. Right. I, I don't care about the politics. <laughs> uh, I, I actually um, have a, a good rapport with the agents uh, and the casting directors, and. Um, they use me to, to post um, quite a bit. Um, I, I have seen some things that they have written to some other people uh, every once in a while, uh, again criticizing something that they saw or something that I put out for a competitor of theirs or, or this or that. And, you know, it, the service is there. If you want to use it, use it. If you don't want to use it, don't use it. Right. Um, but don't get mad at me because I'm posting for right. one of your competitors and didn't post for you. You didn't send it to me. If you did, it would have gone out. So how can someone who does not receive your newsletter get involved and get information? The easiest way, um, there's, there's a subscribe email that I, I 
don't have memorized that puts okay. you directly on. But if you go to my website, which is bdragonup.com, okay. there is a contact Spell me. Oh, one. yeah, it's D R A G O N, just like fire breathing dragon uh -huh. from the United Kingdom, UK. <laughs> <laughs> it's one word, um, there's no dots or periods or whatever, just bdragonup first. N -U -C -K. Initial B for, for yeah. It's D R A G O N U K. U K. U K. All right. Um, and there's a contact me uh, thing on there. Just um, so that they can fill it out and and hit send, and then I will send you an invite to the Yahoo group. Mm -hmm. And once mm -hmm. you return that invite, um, then you're set up and you start receiving the newsletters. I normally send send it to someone who's oh tell me about that uh, audition. I I'll, I'll send it to you. How do I join? Look at the very bottom. The very bottom. <laughs> every, every single message that goes out tells everybody how to subscribe. Yeah. So, uh, and that's because I know that emails take on this life of their own yes, and go all do. over the place. Yes, they do. So. And before, I, I just got to ask you, we've been, we've been talking about you as the entrepreneur, but what about Brian as the actor? What do you want to, do you want to continue to act? And what do you want to accomplish? What is your goal? Acting is the passion that I've got. Um, it is. Because you've the, done it all, right? Have, uh, yeah. Um, matter of fact, one of um, I did a 9/11 um, documentary um, it. last it year, good. Countdown to good. Ground Zero. That is sort of a showpiece of the the top Baltimore, Washington talent. Um, mm -hmm. I played a guy by the name of Rick Rescorla, who was the head of security for Morgan Stanley. Uh, he was in the World Trade Center for both bombings, the one in 93 and the one that killed him in 9-11. Uh, um, so that was a real good part and um, I've gotten some some really good reviews on uh, what I did in, in that in particular. Uh, TV commercials. Um, Give us a commercial that we could, would know you by. Well, it, it, it depends because they're localized. I've, I've got something for uh, homefinders.com that's uh, yeah. airing in certain areas of the DC market, um, but it's on the individual county cable. So I think it's, it's mm -hmm. running um, over in Virginia in uh, Stafford County, Loudoun County. Mm -hmm. I think it's running in Montgomery County, uh, Maryland. Uh, that's a, a really nice uh, commercial. Um, one of the first ones I ever did, as a matter of fact, it was my first commercial and my first speaking part, both, mm -hmm. uh, was for an Exxon station over on uh, Route 40, um, playing the uh, competitor's mechanics. So um, I'm head to toe grease. I've got <laughs> tattoos on both arms. I've got wow. teeth blackened out. Oh, that's um, cool. <laughs> I'm standing in a woman's car engine with a, a sledgehammer saying, Yep, I think so I can fix this. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, I'm sure I think so I know so I can fix this. It's a southern was, accent, right? Because, you know, the, the, it was the competitors, the owner of the station came on and says, You know, look familiar? Uh, you'll never see this on my <laughs> at my station, you know, and uh, oh, that still funny. plays from from now and again. And it's also if you go to my website, mm -hmm. um, my uh, video demo reel is playable, so you can actually see, see that commercial okay. and a few other. Wow, you know what? We want to take a look at that. So let's take a look at this clip. And this is Brian doing his <laughs> thing as an actor. Yeah, I think I can fix this. You know, I'm sure I know I think I can fix this. Wow, <laughs> now, that was funny. <laughs> I like that accent. I like yeah. that. I like that. You, you are very versatile. Very well, versatile. I mean, you have to be if you want to uh, do well in, in uh, this. Yeah, um, I did um, uh, 17 West Wings. Uh, 13 oh, yeah. of them in front of the camera and uh, four of them as as crew and um, uh, I think that's where I met you yeah, yeah. We, I, I we, wrote with you <laughs> I picked you up yeah, and, uh, right across the street. all right so 
I remember you doing West Wing, and yes, I did ride with you. And so, do you have clips from West Wing too on your site? Yeah, I'm uh, not sure. Yeah, I think that there is one clip on my um, uh, demo reel uh -huh. uh, of me on a West Wing. But if you look at the Jobs photo album, um, there's pictures of me not only with the major stars that. Um, okay. Came about, what but, can we take uh, a look at it? Yeah. Oh, that was so cool, man. You are cool. Oh, just by the way, we're at the top of the world at the top of the World Trade Center. So if you hear any noise, that's the tourists just walking around, having a good old time while we're sitting here with Brian, and they're also watching you because yeah. you—I you, mean, you're important. They might be on his list. Well, yeah, they could be. <laughs> they, they could be. So, Obi, don't be so quiet. What, what do you have no, to say I'm, to this man? I'm just, uh, I'm wondering why I'm not on the list. I need to find out how I can get on there as well. Yeah. Well, that's you, easy enough to take care of. So, um, like I say, if you go to bedragonook.com and uh, just uh, use that uh, submit to me, um, right. that'll, that'll get you right on the list. So, uh, that's great. So and we'll take care of that. So, when we come back from this break, we can talk some more. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. You discovered it in your own. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, I know. I know. That was only a couple of years ago. Yeah, 
years ago. Oh, well, we were two fifty years ago. So we're but hoping, they didn't start right after. Well, okay, all right. But so we're hopefully the first step is getting the commission started. Exactly. All right. And the existing location you are at now. Yeah. Yes, it's so it has a wonderful history. It does. This was the home of the National Women's Party. The National Women's Party, of course, the, the lobby of Congress and raised awareness to get the vote for women. So th this is a, a, an extraordinary house and represents um, many good and wonderful things for women. Welcome back to the Top of the World Trade Center for Top of the Morning. I'm Betty Montgomery Williams. Uh, Obi Linson. And our guest host today is Brian Dragana, actor, extraordinaire, and entrepreneur. You know, I have to put that behind. Me. Welcome back to Top of the World, and we're having a great conversation with Brian. He is giving us so much information uh, for those actors out there, crew people, production. And Obi, you were mentioning how could you get on, right? Well, I was mentioning that because uh, I'm not really a big time actor right now, but. Brian was also mentioning a few moments ago that uh, he wasn't always an actor. No. Right. So, what was your early, what was your first career? Um, yeah, that's a good question. Uh, my well, my nice. first career out of out of <laughs> high school was managing uh, restaurants and fast food joints. Oh. Uh, the the normal Burger King, McDonald's, mm -hmm. uh, Ponderosa Steakhouse uh, thing, um, but. Um, I always was in management, even straight out of high school. Um, it just something clicked. Um, then I went into the insurance business for 25 years. Life, health? Um, no, property and casualty, high oh, risk okay. property and casualty. Um, I actually designed insurance programs for companies that didn't have them and approached them as a managing general agent to use their name and their company, file my programs and manage them for them and split profits. Mm -hmm. So I spent 25 years doing that. Um, then um, I went to work for um, uh, two local companies that one was a hardware supply store, the other one was a book and greeting card company in their art department. Uh, I, I'm not an artist, but when the artist designed stuff, I printed it out and, and made samples. So the, the uh, hardware supply company, I made uh, all of their displays that they sold nationally. Um, um, so hold that thought. We got to take a break, okay? okay? All right. So when we come back, we'll talk more with Brian Dragona. Thanks. Thanks. Imagine a child struggling to breathe, to speak, to eat, forbidden to go to school or play with other kids ridiculed, abused, abandoned. That's the tragic reality for thousands of children born every year in the developing world with a cleft palate or a cleft lip. But all it takes is a simple surgery to repair a cleft and change that child's life forever. Smile Train is the leading cleft lip and cleft palate charity in the world and has provided free cleft surgeries to thousands of poor children. But there are still so many others who desperately need help like Mary, who's been waiting five years for a simple surgery that could change her life forever. But you can stop the suffering of a child like Mary right now by calling the number on your screen or visiting SaveMary.com now and becoming a member of the Smile of the Month Club. Your gift of only $21 a month, that's less than 70 cents a day, will provide life-changing surgery to helpless children like Mary. When you do, we'll send you this letter of appreciation with a photo of a child like Mary, whose life you have helped save. Plus, regular updates describing how your tax-deductible monthly gift is continuing to save lives. Why should any child be sentenced to a life of shame, ridicule, and abuse, when all it takes is a simple surgery to give her not just a new smile, but a new life? You can stop the suffering of a child like Mary right now. All you have to do is call or go online and join the Smile of the Month Club. It costs less than 70 cents a day, and it means so much to a child in need. For her sake, please do it now. Call 1-877-902-3738 or visit www.savemary.com. That's 1-877-902-3738 or savemary.com. Welcome back to Top of the World at 
Top of the World Trade Center. I'm Betty Montgomery Williams. And I'm Wolfie Linton. And our guest is Brian Dragonaut, actor, entrepreneur. Um, he's the man. If you want information about a, your uh, next job in acting or behind the scenes, right? Yeah. What were we talking about earlier? You you were mentioning something, and well, then Brian was telling us a little bit about his careers prior to uh, starting oh, yeah. this. Yeah, wow. Right? Um, and uh, like I say, the the uh, I built their uh, hardware uh, displays. This is for the insurance. No, this is this is after the insurance industry. This is when I was working for the uh, art department of a hardware supply okay. uh, yeah. company. Uh, and then um, uh, the book and greeting card company, the same thing. I worked in their uh, art department um, when the artist designed a new card, new packaging, new display. Uh, I printed them out on the office copier so the salesman had samples to start selling it while mm -hmm. it was at press. Okay. So we would have some pre-sold orders. So there's that creativity the right there. So, um, uh huh. And that sort of led uh, straight into the acting so uh, from there I, I had not uh, considered acting uh, you know a lot of people in high school and college uh, they're doing plays they're doing this they're doing that didn't interest me at all wow. back then um, the working on Cecil B demented um, with John Waters with John Waters was what really solidified um, uh, my wanting to be in this industry. I'm, I'm sitting in the Senator Theater. It's one of the opening scenes where a uh, guy walks out on the stage, fires off a gun, he's kidnapping someone. Uh, they have uh, two huge flower arrangements. They're like six foot high by six foot wide uh, cases of flowers there that explode. Somebody throws a Molotov cocktail over our head and uh, I'm sitting there looking at, at John's camera angles and seeing things like um, colored cellophane uh, next to a light with a fan blowing it. There's a, a, a 12 foot by 12 foot gas stove that's only six inches tall that they put in front of our feet so that uh, when the Molotov cocktail goes over our heads and, and hits what looks like the stage they hit a button and flames shoot up from, wow. from this thing. And I'm sitting there and I'm watching John's camera angles and uh, watching all of this mayhem happen mm -hmm. and, and the terror in, in everybody in the theater and running to get out and this and that and the other thing. And that's when I said, you know, this really is an industry that I want to be a part of. Good. This is something that, that's really, really unique. And uh, I, I've, uh, the uh, greeting card company that I worked for went bankrupt right afterwards and I decided while I was looking for uh, regular employment to go ahead and put headshots out and see whether or not um, I could uh, make it as an actor. Well, can we see a uh, clip as you as an actor? Uh, yeah, let's go to another clip. Yeah, let, let's check that out. Okay. Let's tell Hi. Welcome to this segment of uh, Top of the Morning, the Dragon of Connects segment. Uh, today we are looking at a 30 second TV commercial on uh, how it came into being. Uh, it is for a company in Virginia called HomeFinders.com. And basically what we were um, doing, uh, she wanted something to broadcast that would tell people to go on the internet and look for homefinders.com because she is an internet real estate company. Uh, was extremely easy. Everybody had two words to say, so it wasn't a lot of, uh, a lot of um, memorization in there. Um, but I, I do want to take a second right now before we start talking uh, more about the actor's side. I do want to run the clip and show you Next home. A spacious family room. Our agent. Homefinders.com. Perhaps a gourmet kitchen. Our agent. Homefinders.com. What about a relaxing deck? Our agent. Homefinders.com. Visit homefinders.com and go to search listings to find the homes listed for sale or call 
7111-7988. Homefinders.com. Wow. So you, you're good. You, you, you know, you're an actor and you're an entrepreneur with the newsletter. Which would you prefer? That's a hard question, isn't it? <laughs> acting, acting is the passion. Yeah. It's the engine that drives everything else. But there's also um, there's also a uh, foreseeable cap as to how much further I can grow as an actor. Yeah. So um, that's uh, again why uh, I want to have all of the other little things out there: the casting, the newsletters. Uh, Etc. Um, so that I've got other things that I can can do in the industry mm -hmm. if um, I sort of uh, don't keep up with the, the growth of in front of the camera. Now, do you type all of this? And and before you don't. answer that, we're going to take another. Look. You got a lot of clips. We're going to take another take look, look at one of your clips. Okay. Because we want everybody to see you. For joining us. I hope that uh, you have a better understanding of uh, the importance of TV commercials to the uh, local actors and to the production companies in, in uh, putting them together and uh, have a better understanding of uh, what it is to be an actor in the Baltimore, Washington area. Eva, thank you very thank much. You. Uh, My I pleasure. hope to see you again on something soon. Okay. Bruce, always right. a pleasure. Um, Great to see you again. We've yeah. done a, a few projects together where we didn't even show up at the, on the same days and found out later in the credits that we were on the same <laughs> project, true, right? same movies. So um, it's good to be with you again. Vice versa. Okay. joining us. I hope that uh, you have a better understanding of uh, the importance of TV commercials to the uh, local actors and to the production companies in, in uh, putting them together and uh, have a better understanding of uh, what it is to be an actor in the Baltimore, Washington area. Eva, thank you very thank much. You. Uh, My I pleasure. hope to see you again on something soon. Okay. Bruce, always a pleasure. How many clips do you have? <laughs> um, I, I've actually, uh, in seven years, I've done 450 different projects wow. in 93 speaking parts. Now, I don't yes. have copies of all of them, but I've got a, a large that portion. That is amazing. Mm -hmm. We're going to take a break, and when we come back, we'll wrap it up with Brian. He is fantastic, so stay with us. Okay, let's see. going on when it comes to careers in science, technology, engineering, and math, and it's really exciting to be able to share some of them with you. This is a very exciting career for kids, any kid, but in particular we'd like to encourage girls to think about being an engineer or a scientist, because it's really a fun career. I worked for over 30 years as an engineer, and I can't think of anything I could do that would have been more fun than what I did, and what I'm still doing, in fact. So it's really a great thing to consider. So I'm going to show you some clips. Come on with me on the trip. That's, uh, that was uh, one of the crew pictures we took that kind of said what everybody was going to do on the mission. Being led out really by uh, mission specialist uh, Norm Thaggard, uh, Mark Lee, uh, Mary Cleave, and the uh, commander and pilot uh, uh, Commander Dave Walker waving and uh, pilot Ron Graby waving T minus 15, 14, 13, and lift off. Some feet per second. Atlantic two miles. So 
uh, Booster and Brian and Murray in the uh, flight deck are preparing for the first of the two spacewalks. Here is Murray, Woody and myself uh, dubbed ourselves the Ace Construction Company with the supporting crew of the rest of the crew and uh, we put up our advertising after we've completed the construction of the first access truss. The arm flies wonderfully. It's just such a great tool. Um, real smooth and uh, no surprise. Um, being able to interact with them and, and they gave me some real good directions while we were up there. Mary took most of these motion picture earth views that we've got and this is one way she did it. We had a mid-deck experiment called a fluid experiment apparatus, which you can see here, my hands are inside of this. It's a little furnace. We were going indium crystals. It was really an excellent uh, mid-deck for us. We controlled it with our little experiment computer, which worked great, different floppy disks for each experimental run. Here's Mary at the overhead windows. This is a primary vantage point for Earth observation photography. Yeah, I sort of shared doing the, the food cooking duties. That whoever got hungry first seemed to be the person that would end up cooking. Um, but it's actually a lot easier in zero-g going up the stairs. In one-g, you have to be careful and take the trays one at a time, these bags, before we unpack them. You can see it took up a lot of space down here. A lot of times at work, I feel like I'm running around in circles, and so I tried actually running around in circles, and it worked up there, and it was a lot of fun. Walker? It's been fun working with you here, and showing you a little bit about what NASA does, and I hope that we have a great time. Hope that you have a good time, too. It's been great talking to you. The World Trade Center in Baltimore, Maryland. We're here with Brian Dragonoff and Betty Montgomery Williams, my co-host. And we're talking about... And what uh, is your name? Oh, my name's Obi Liz. <laughs> and we're here today just talking about the wide range of things that uh, Brian has been doing for the acting community in the Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, well, you can go as far south as South Carolina, North no, Carolina? Richmond, Virginia pretty well, okay. and north is Philadelphia. But north uh, Phil well, and that's just the geographical limitation, but we're talking about an email distribution system, so we're really global. <laughs> this is a global presence yeah. right here in front yeah, of us. Yeah, he is. So, we're coming to the end of the program. Now, well, obviously, we keep talking for quite a long time. We just mentioned that we could do a documentary on this hundreds. man. I mean, <laughs> tell you, he got he has a story and something, and you don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. But I know, and a lot of people know who know Brian, and because you've helped us so much that you wasn't doing so well at one point in time, and we want to make sure we showed you our appreciation. And I was one of those people. So I want to thank you because you, you've been a blessing to a lot of actors and actresses out there. So. Thank you. I, I try to uh, do a good job and, and uh, the industry growth is important. It, it helps me get more jobs as people in L.A. or New York or Chicago or wherever. Um, decide to come here to do a movie, come here to do a, a TV commercial, come here to do a training video, um, because they, they know that there's trained professionals both uh, in front of the camera and behind the camera, union and non-union, that uh, can do the job for them, and, and that's a, a big thing. So what would you want to leave, and Obi, you can uh, follow up behind me, but what would you want everyone out there to know about Brian Dragonaugh. Um, you just told us about this is your passion, but what advice would you give to any actors, actresses out there, production crew people? Um, the, the big thing is work ethic. Um, if you get yourself into a good set of habits um, uh, for uh, your work ethics, um, and carry them through. Um, doesn't matter what kind of training you had prior to coming into acting. Mm -hmm. um, if you've got good work habits and, and everything, it's going to be noticed and appreciated. Um, if somebody tells you that you have to go outside and stand by the stop sign on the corner, even though they're filming inside the building just in case the cameraman right. trips and it goes out the window, right. um, <laughs> You do that. Yeah. The next time Take they get somebody, uh, you know, next time they have something where you're standing right there next to the star mm -hmm. um, doing something, That's true. Um, the guy that, that you did 
what he wanted, when he wanted, because he needed it, mm -hmm. and it's his choice again, you're going to be in there. Right. And uh, okay, that's good I, advice. I've, I've done a, a lot of parts where uh, I've spent a lot of, I, I, I get good camera time and I get uh, to see myself on the big screen and uh, on television um, just because I have done what they want. And I don't think that there's anybody out there that um, uh, would say that I did an unprofessional day for them. I, I don't know of anyone that would say that. Great. So that's the thing, the work ethic. Um, if you can, can carry that through, um, you can be a success here. That's excellent advice. Uh, and you have a lot more excellent advice uh, through your email list and your website. So once again, tell all the viewers how they can get in touch with you. Easiest way is to go to my uh, website. It's my personal acting website. It's bdragonhook.com. But there is a contact Brian feature on there. Um, just fill that out. Put your email address on it. Uh, send it to me. Um, and I will send you back an invite to the, the uh, Yahoo group um, for the newsletters. You have to return the invite in order to um, start receiving them. That's the way Yahoo makes sure that I'm not spamming people that don't right. want it. You have to request it, then you have to approve it uh, in order to um, uh, actually receive it. And uh, it's again Dragonook, D-R-A-G-O-N-U-K, all one dragonup.com Brian thank you so so much for joining joining us here on top of the morning but I also want to thank you personally and I want to thank you from every actor actress crew member production person who's ever worked in this area and beyond because you are a true blessing please please whatever you do don't leave us. <laughs> okay. uh, I, I, we need you. <laughs> I really enjoy the industry. We I, I, need I, you. I know that there's 500 extremely close personal friends out yeah. there from the sets that I've been on. There's and, not been one set real good. that I've met people that didn't know you. So I want to tell you, you keep up the good work. God is going to truly bless you. Thank you. Definitely, you're going to receive your blessing. They're already flowing, and they are continuing to flow. And I want to thank you again for joining us here on Top of the Morning. Thanks. Can I get a handshake <laughs> on that one? <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Thank you once again for tuning in to the Top of the Morning show here at the Top of the World Trade Center in Baltimore, Maryland. My name is Obi Linton. And I'm Betty Montgomery Williams. And our guest today was Brian Dragonau. And we want to say goodbye. Bye. 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 I love Brian is he's a wealth of information. I love the show. Did you like the I show? Liked it. Wow, did we not have a good show? We did. We did. It's always good to bring some positive and productive information to the viewers. A lot of information. Information is power, most definitely. <laughs> Absolutely. But we want to thank you for watching. Yes, very much. Thank you once again and we'll look forward to seeing you next time. I'm Betty Montgomery Williams. I'm Obi Linton. And we're here top of the world on Top of the morning at the World Trade Center. Bye-bye. And -bye. turn the caps in and ring the bell daily. And we recommend the free self-guided audio tour, which comes in two flavors, one perfect for children, the other for adults. Plus, there's the ever-popular Powder Monkey Tour for kids and hands-on adult tours like a ship as a machine and black sailors in navy blue. Groups can also come aboard and sling their hammocks in our overnight program or host special events. Our crew knows the USS Constellation is an amazing experience, but don't just take our word for it. Here's what recent visitors had to say. It's very kid-friendly, very family-oriented, and the kids will love it, and they'll come out asking questions, which I love.
it transports you back. You can almost get the feel that you were actually there because laying in that hammock, <laughs> like, oh my goodness. I think it's really interesting because it shows you exactly how they slept and how they ate and how they went through life. But it was an excellent, uh, excellent tour and uh, I think it's something they, they need to maintain for uh, generations to come. Should be kind of a must for people who are in the area and have an hour or two to spend. And it's just amazing to see how what people lived in, how hard they worked in order to accomplish what they did. It brings your learning alive and that it helps you to understand. Like rather than looking to, at pictures, you can actually see what they were in and you can actually understand it. I think it makes me appreciate being an American, knowing these people went through these things to put me where I am now. Yeah, I'd say come see it. Yeah, we were a little bit literary because of the age of our children, four and seven, but they enjoyed it so much. It really kind of surprised us. We thought it'd be more for us, the parents, but no, they, they loved it. <laughs> they had a good time. Yeah, they had a great time. So come aboard USS Constellation. And while you're here in Baltimore, be sure to visit these other attractions of the Chesapeake Bay Gateways Network. The Baltimore Visitor Center, a good place to start your tour of this historic city and region. The National Aquarium on Pier 3 near the USS Constellation Museum. The Lightship Chesapeake and Seven Foot Knoll Lighthouse, both part of the Baltimore Maritime Museum. The Frederick Douglass Isaac Myers Maritime Park and Museum, headquarters of the Living Classrooms Foundation. Fells Point, an early American shipbuilding center and the Fells Point Maritime Museum. And of course, Fort McHenry National Monument where the people of Baltimore valiantly defended the city from the British during the War of 1812, and Baltimore's own Francis Scott Key wrote our national anthem, the Star Spangled Banner. So welcome aboard USS Constellation and enjoy your visit to the historic sites of the Chesapeake Bay Gateways Network. <laughs> <laughs>